Hi everybody! Welcome to the Off the Grid Revolution. Um, we're here at the greenhouse again, as we are almost every time we do a video. And I'm going to work today because I'm up to my neck in the revolution with things to do. I have to water. You may remember that um, a couple weeks ago we talked about the off the grid water system that we have. Get a shot of that water system again, Joe. Got it. That comes from two 55 gallon drums in the basement where uh, the water is pumped up by pushing the button and the water comes spitting out from there. Once the pump runs it through the hose, it comes out and it's filling up the hose now. I don't want to take the time to do that on the video. Um, and then we use that to water the garden and we also this week built a portable emergency water system for the gardens in town that are going to lose their water this summer because of um, how dry we expect it to be. Hope we're wrong, but given climate change and how um, people are not dealing with it well enough, we're thinking there's going to be more soaking wet weather like we had this spring followed by really dry weather that we're going to have. We built um, an alternative watering system. We took two 55 gallon drums. We mounted them uh, centrally on a um, metal framed uh, cart that we pulled behind the little red truck. You've heard the little red truck mentioned more than once in this project. It's a primary tool of the off the grid revolution. It's designed to be able to pump water from here that's off the grid into a pump that goes in the uh, uh, using this pump into the 255 gallon drums, we fill those tanks up and then we take them to uh, whatever system, uh, whatever garden is without water and we water their gardens for them with water that's not from the city so it doesn't have chlorine in it, doesn't have fluoride in it. It's the same quality water that we have here that is, is fertile. Now that system once it's pumped into those tanks is then pumped out of those tanks to those gardens in another 12 volt system. We had to buy another 12 volt pump. Um, we got to figure out how to do that cheaper because they're getting kind of expensive at like 50 bucks a piece or something. Um, anyway, that's what we did this week. We spent time in the off the grid project of getting additional water sources for people who needed it. Now will this be a watering source for the urban garden too, conceivably? If they run out of water there, it sure will be. Um, we built a 55, two 55 gallon drum catchment systems there at the community garden for them to use. And we also set buckets underneath the shed that they have there. We've got about 150 gallons of water um, storage capacity in that system. But given how dry it oftentimes gets around here, I'm thinking that that might not be enough. So we're gonna use this system for them as well. And the idea is use it as much as we can uh, off the grid and then if we have to start using corporate water then we will but we don't really want to. Hey check this out. Um, last time you were here there were tomato plants on this shelf mm -hmm. and the tomatoes are kind of going out of season now. So I went down to the compost pile and found parsley. And then um, Wayne, one of the uh, people involved in the community garden who's an occupier and involved with the community bill of rights stuff brought over basil. I sold a boatload of the basil at the garden today and now we have some left. This is Thai basil and we got this from Wayne. This is parsley. We got that from the compost pile and this is regular basil. We got that from uh, who gave that to us? I think Wayne gave us that too. Yes. Yeah and so we got all these things that are replacing the tomatoes. People aren't buying tomatoes anymore because it's like July 11th. And on July 11th, most people who are going to plant tomatoes did so. So what happens now is that all these tomato plants that are left over will be continued to raise, will continue to raise them in the garden and then we'll sell and or give the, uh, the produce away. We talked once before, I need to get over here to do some more watering. Okay. We talked once before about the Food Not Bombs program and that's part of where the food will go once it's uh, ready to produce. And we're going to use the um, Community Bill of Rights uh, opportunity to collect signatures there at the farmer's market. Hey, Randy. And 
I know. Turn around. To your back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to work and do this video at the same time. My apologies for that. We're going to do um, the Food Not Bombs project again. Hey, talk about having your mind in the gutter. See the stuff I'm watering now? Yes, yeah, sir. Lettuce and parsley came from the compost pile again. And we uh, salvaged it. And um, here it is. The neighborhood is sneaking into the garden and eating. Not really sneaking. I told them, come the neighbors come get what they want and they've been doing it um, they've been eating the tomatoes green from the front garden and they've been eating the uh, the peppers um, some of them are eating them a little sooner than they should but they're very tasty as green they're supposed to be sweet yellow banana peppers and people are eating them as soon as they get big enough to cut up and put in the salad so, so we got that new water project going we got the new plants that we've salvaged uh, we've got a new direction to take the tomato plants where they're going to be used for their produce, not for themselves. So we'll be selling fewer and fewer of them all the time. Uh, the large ones that you saw a week or two or three ago uh, that we were selling for 10 bucks will now just stay here and they'll become the tomato plants that produce the tomatoes that we will either give away or sell or cook up and put into the Food Not Bombs project that we're going to do this summer downtown Youngstown. Fantastic. Um, Today, um, we're going to be working in the community garden as part of this project to replant some of the strawberries. We'll dig up some of them that are too uh, dense, too close together, uh, and sell them at the, at the uh, farmer's market. Uh, we'll give the, some of them to anybody who wants them who will get strawberries growing next year. Because if you look at online at the 10 ugliest foods to eat, the most contaminated ones, potatoes, and strawberries are almost always at the top of the pile of food that's not good to eat unless it's organic. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to get as many potatoes out there as we can, and we're trying to get as many strawberries as we can to go after the worst of the food. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do that um, this week, uh, maybe even today, if it doesn't uh, continue uh, to sun to beat us out of the fields. Uh, we're gonna do those tomatoes, uh, strawberries, and uh, give them away and sell them at the market for the Community Bill of Rights and um, it'll be fun. I gotta tell you, yeah. when, um, when strawberries were in season yeah. and I was getting strawberries every week when I was here, yeah. they were keeping me in smoothies. Ah, that's wonderful. That's strawberries and kale, by the way, make excellent smoothies with a little bit of organic ginger. Yeah, one guy got 10 gallons of strawberries one guy got two gallons of strawberries. I think I got about a gallon and a half of strawberries. And then we transitioned into black raspberries and I got like two gallons of black raspberries. And now we're doing the end of the black raspberries and the end of the um, red raspberries. I got another quart of red raspberries yesterday. All this is free food. Free Fantastic. food. Fantastic. Um, and GMO free food. And, and GMO organic free. free food. And, or, yeah. Organic. And it is organic. organic. That's right. It's all made out of what we call Ohio gold. This combination of horse manure and sawdust that's well decomposed. It's five years old, more or less. More or less. So that's what's going on with the off grid project. That's where the revolution is. Um, I've been reading this week, and I hope you keep reading. Even if you have a reading disability like I do, you can watch some of this stuff on YouTube, because I don't read well. But I'm okay with that. I listen well. I watch well. And I've been reading and watching this guy named Richard Wolf, who's an alternative economist. I suggest for you out there who haven't seen Richard Wolf, go take a look. I've also been listening to Bernie Sanders. Man, am I psyched about this guy. He's a politician who actually says, I'm part of the revolution. Fantastic. He's us, dudes and dudettes. Let's go for Bernie. We, we made some Bernie buttons. I think I showed you one last week. Uh, we're giving them away. Uh, he had 10,000 people at a, at a um, Bernie event in Wisconsin. Um, that's where Walker and all of his idiots are. Um, it's great. Bernie Sanders for president. I don't know whether... Um, you guys are excited about him, but this is the first politician I've been excited about in a long time. 
I used to be excited about Elizabeth Warren. I'm not so sure now because she's not doing the things she needs to do. I hope she jumps on board with Bernie. I'll take her off my poop list. And I don't mean Ohio vote. Mm -hmm. I'll take her off my poop list if she jumps on board with Bernie and doesn't act like she's sold out too. Um, but that's what's going on in the revolution in the off-grid project this week. Okay. Uh, good talking to you all. Good seeing you all. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Randy. You're welcome. Bye.